Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the try back of mechanism in Python and how actually you can use it to achieve some clean code state in your code base. I've prepared a sample code to explain this concept and let's go through the code. Basically, here we are trying to build a database connector and we have provided this support databases. Uh, this is a dictionary with the database name. We have this connection strings data uh, connection strings dictionary with the key uh, as a database name, and the values is a lambda functions which in turn returns the connection string to the uh, specific database type. Then we have this get connection callable string which accepts this database name as a string, and it returns back a list of the callable. And here we check if the database name in the supported database, database type or name in the supported database, then we are going to uh, uh, catch this lambda function callable, insert it inside the, inside the list and return back from this function. If something uh, wrong happened here, we are going to write unsupported database exception. And this is the custom exception without any it finds the things in it. If you are going to run it, it should return back this uh, list of callable because we call it directly. The so next thing is we are going to provide some connect function which accepts the database name as an input and calls this get connection callable string. Then uh, and it returns a list. We grab the first element of the list, we call the callable and see what's happened here. It, it returns the connection string of the specific database type. So this is a uh, start point of our code base. But let me explain the idea what we are going to do here. So I want to retry this. Uh, input the providing database type at least three times if something wrong happens. So if, if we rise on supported data, database exception with some kind of gibberish, uh, it's going to say that unsupported database type provided and it's going to fail. But what I want here at, at least retry this uh, three times. For that purposes, we can write some custom things, but I found a wonderful library which, which is called surprisingly backoff, and you can give the start to this project because it's a wonderful project. The Python library providing function decorators for configurable backoff and retry. They have a bunch of examples, but I'm going to explain the core concepts. Let's go back to the code. Here. If you do the pip install backoff, you will have this import, import backoff, and this wonderful decorator backoff. If you are going to use backoff on exception, and you are going to catch on support of database exception, and if we provide max tries three, that means it's going to call it three times. Let's just fail with some unsupported database types. Nice. So it's clean enough and it's wonderful mechanism that you are going not to put this retrying catching exception logic inside your uh, domain problem. That's a key uh, concept to catch here. And it retries three times. But at the end, it rises on supported database exception again, which is not good. What I want to do here, maybe, maybe to give, uh, to print some give up message. So giving up after multiple failures and so, uh, and so on. And the back of mechanism, the back of decorator, has its own give up argument, which you need to provide uh, the give up callable. And it will print this uh, message after three failures. Let's just check it. Uh, 
Oh, so even up after multiple failures, it's quite user friendly. But again, it rises uh, exception. What we can do here in the next step, we can just import the sys and do the sys exit with minus one. Why with minus one? We are going to indicate that something went wrong and we are giving up after multiple failures. So and at that point, if we are going to fail three times, it's going to give the giving up after multiple failures and with no exception, uh, no unsupported database exception arised to the user. That's quite neat. Uh, but I believe that Backoff uh, Decorator has something suppressing the um, arising the exception, but this is a a quick hack for you and you can go and check out the back of uh, decorator if they are providing some other mechanism here and the next step is what I want here to explain if users type something wrong just give uh, him a, a nice message that hey you did something wrong and please type again and so so on and uh, again, the back of decorator has its own back of argument, which accepts uh, the callable. And I provided that invalid database name provided. And it's going to print that invalid database provided. Please try again. Let's just run it to see. So we are going to fail. Nice. So we get this invalid database name provided. Please try again. Failing, failing, and we are giving up after multiple failures. Again, wrapping up, the key takeaway here is you have this so-called domain logic, core logic, uh, or domain problem, which are, you are going uh, to solve. And you are not polluting your code base, keeping it clean enough, and... Uh, Get, um, giving this responsibility to outside, to the back of decorator. That's a key takeaway and how you can uh, achieve some clean state in your code base. Uh, that's it, guys. Go ahead to check out this back of tool, apply to your projects and just give a feedback if it was useful or not. See you in the next videos.